done. In today's video, I want to share with you guys my note-taking tips and tell you about the books I use in my second year, second semester of medical school. As you all know, I'm in China and I just want to show you guys what my textbooks are like. Just the cover pages and tell you about the courses I'm doing this semester. So, let's go straight into the note-taking tips. I have a couple of ways I take my notes. These are ways that suit me. These ways have worked for me and I think I should just share them with you guys. I just want to let you guys know that these methods work for me. They may not work for you and you can just try them out. But if they do, it would be nice for you to leave it in the comment section. Or if you have any other tips I didn't mention here, just tell me about it. Leave it in the comment section. My first note-taking tip is if you have, if you're able to get the PowerPoint slides or the, teacher, or the teacher's PowerPoint presentation before time. It would be very nice if you print it out because you can, like, I have a copy here of my PowerPoint slide. I don't know if you can see. But I write on it so it helps me take notes in class. Like, taking notes on the PowerPoint slide helps in a way that you go directly with the teacher and you can write exactly what they say at different points in class. Like on this paper, I have viral interference. This is a phenomenon for which a cell infected by a virus becomes resistant towards a second outcoming infection by a super infectant virus. About this, if the, if the teacher says anything at this point in class, I can just write it down beside this definition of viral, viral interference. So this helps me to go along with the teacher and I like this note-taking method. My second is taking notes with tables. So like I think most information can be summarized into tables. Instead of having long, very boring notes, I really hope you can see this. But I kind of have very long notes. And I know they look very unattractive. I'm not really, I don't really care if I write with colors or take notes with colors. But then, taking making tables will really help, help you understand and make the information shorter for you. So I do this often, and it helps me take notes. Okay, at at the beginning of my medical school, I used to write all my notes in one book like i loved scattered notes writing anyhow it kind of made me feel like a serious student then but i realized when it was exam period or yeah during exam periods when i need to quickly go through my notes for information i found it very hard to find what i was looking for which usually gave me problems because like i needed to do last minute studying but my things were too scattered and disorganized so after that semester i upgraded i bought different notes for different courses so when i'm studying and taking my notes like different little notes like this for each course so i separated them and each course gets a book for itself and it has helped me better like i can quickly find any information i'm looking for because i'm going directly into one note and sometimes I get to write, I write, I like to write my notes in class, in a notebook, not in PowerPoint slide. But for that, I use just one notebook. But I just, I divide the notes into different sections for the different courses. So that also helps me. Then, something else I do is, I record the teacher in class. Because there are sometimes I'm not really, I may not be paying so much attention to the teacher and... I really want to get the information but my attention isn't there so I pick up my phone and I record what the teacher is saying in class so later I can go through it and take notes or if there's any important thing that the teacher is saying in class and you don't want to miss at all you can record it and listen to it later listen to it over and over again so yeah that really helps me 
to work from uh, taking times. notes with diagrams also help most especially the mind mapping method where you have you make like a family tree let's say we're talking about um When you have something like a family tree and you have like okay let me give an example okay. an example here i have like let's say you draw a big circle with endotoxin and what i'm going to talk about now is the biological effects of endotoxin so a big circle of endotoxin in the middle then you draw a line immunity line biologic activity under immunity you draw two lines extra weak no toxoid available and under biologic activity weak no specificity and everything under it you just make like a family tree of what you need to learn and this is a new method i found out and i feel like it's really going to help me very well this semester i'm going to try it and i advise to try it too so let's see and hope this particular method works for us so if there's any other method that you have any other ideas for taking notes that really help you or has helped you before you can leave it in the comment section so we can all benefit from it but as for me these are my very few note taking tips and i just hope you got something useful from it if you did remember to give this video a thumbs up once again and also subscribe to my channel you can also follow me up on my social media instagram snapchat and twitter which will be linked for you guys to see so Thank you for watching this video and if you have any video recommendations for me, any videos you want me to make, you can let me know, you can email me or leave it in the comment section. of some very important English terms and information it will be translated to Chinese so my textbooks are not really Chinese or pure English this is a typical copy of my medical genetics textbook as you can see some Chinese characters in the book so after explaining a very important term in English it is then translated to Chinese but it's not everywhere it's just for some very important terms this semester I'll be doing courses like immunology microbiology and parasitology medical genetics um, pathology uh, of course introduction to clinical medicine Chinese language yeah those are the courses I'm going to be doing for my second year, second semester medical school in China. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.